Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've last done a simplex far alarm video, so here we go again. What you see here is four different simplex 4903 devices. However, one thing that's the same about these four is that they're all 15 Candela units. However, the way they sound are completely different, and here's why. This one here is the simplex 4903-9219, and it has an electromechanical horn. This one here is the Simplex 4903-9146, and it has a speaker, which makes this a speaker strobe. This one here is the Simplex 4903-9236, and the horn is electronic. And now, my latest addition, my Simplex 4903-9252, and the horn is also electronic. However, the, this electronic horn is the one that sounds like a true alert. And the strobe is selectable, which means that it can run to either free run or smart sync. And I have it on free run because, you know, I want to be able to test the strobe freely while I'm testing the strobe, just like any conventional device. And all four of these units are red and horizontal. And the one we will be testing is the 40 now 39252. So here we go. Like I said before, this is the Simplex 4903-9252, and it's a 15 Candela selectable horn strobe. And, yeah, as you know, it sounds like a truller, and I could say a lot more till the end, but you know. We're going to give it a test, and we're going to do this in four coatings. So we'll be doing continuous, march time, coat three, and pulse. By the way, the strobe will run, so if you guys have epilepsy, I suggest you do not watch this. Here we go. This is in continuous. All right. Now march time. Code 3. We'll do pulse. Man, I will say this is equally loud as my my other simplex true alerts. Let me show you the back. Here's the unit. The way the horn looks is much different than the older electronic horns, but as you can see through the strobe area, it's, this is where the strobe magic happens. See here? There's the switch that, um, that has you switching it to either free run or smart sync. Oops. Yeah. That's what it looks like. 49.392.52. Let me compare you this with my 92.36 since it has a similar look to it. Pretty different, huh? Two different people made... Um, or I should say two different manufacturers made these different horns. And here's what it says, 15 Candela. Do it this way. Yeah. And this is the version where it says, Fire Alarm Device Do Not Paint, which is which is one of the newer versions of this device. I will say that the high school I went to actually had two of these same devices in the main gym. And it actually does have the, the Simplex logo with the big S and the new Simplex lettering. 
except the ones at the gym were were mounted on back boxes, which is because it's the 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 high school I went to um, is an older building, so the entire um, school would have a mixture of for right now three ninety two nineteens and true alerts and. Fewer areas had the 9236, and certain areas had the 9252. And it was pretty interesting seeing specifically this version, and I was like, I'm like, how come this Simplex logo has the big S, since I've only seen the newer Simplex logo with the smaller S? Which, a few of the, a few of the schools I went to actually have the Simplex logo with the smaller S, However, it's hard to identify if it's either a 9236 from the early 2000s or a 9252 because the first version of the 9252 actually has the smaller S for the Simplex logo. But yeah, that's all I have to share with you all. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.